Now, some of you out there, I'm sure, recognize this sound or this theme, this style of music, consistent with the sci-fi Western television series Firefly. This particular song, composed by David Newman, is on the soundtrack for the movie Serenity, which picked up where the television series left off. Joss Whedon's Firefly follows the crew of Serenity as they experience a variety of adventures in the verse. The crew was a great mesh of characters that would have their own views of life in the sky, and each of them dealt with challenges in a variety of ways. You might say that Shepard Book was the conscience of the crew, a deeply spiritual man with a mysterious past. Shepard was a likable and moral man who knew when it was right to quote scripture, and when it was appropriate to respond to conflicts with more than just words. Ron Glass brought that character to life in the show. Before that, he made his way onto many classic television series, including the reoccurring role of Detective Ron Harris on Barney Miller. Firefly was his first experience in the sci-fi genre, and at a recent convention I spoke with him about his character, the show, the dedicated fan base, and the tragic demise of Shepard in the film Serenity. Well, I am here with the one and only Ron Glass. Mr. Glass, thank you so much for taking time to talk with me today. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. After being involved in some great classic television series like All in the Family, Sanford and Son, Good Times, and of course Barney Miller, would you have ever imagined back then that you would have had this amazing opportunity to be in a cult science fiction series like Firefly? Would never have considered it. I always stayed away from doing uh, anything science fiction-like because I didn't want to be bothered with prosthetics and so on. You know, and so that was one of the real lures of this particular science. You didn't have a six-hour makeup session. Exactly, <laughs> before and after. Yes, that is totally understandable. What do you remember most about playing Shepard Book in the series? I guess the, the the thing that I remember most really is the relationships with the rest of the people, because the characters were so really, really beautifully defined, and um, and the interactions between them were so full. Yeah. But I loved the character from the time I read it. Yeah, he's a great And um, that's the, what I miss most. I miss having that kind of relationship with those great. with those various people. Yeah, absolutely. Makes you know what? I mean, it's like having a family member pass away, you know, because yeah, it, you just miss You're them. You're that emotionally invested. Yeah, and you yeah. just miss them because, you know, because you like them so. Well, thank goodness for conventions. <laughs> <laughs> So outside of not having the six-hour makeup session, what else drew you to uh, the part of Shepard? Well, the main thing was actually the character as written. Mm. You know, it was just such, a, such an exciting thing. One of the things that I loved about the character was not only was he the conscience of the ship and so forth, you know, and a really stand-up, upright kind of humanistic kind of guy, but he'd also kick your ass, That's right. which I really, really loved. It's a, it's a beautiful, it's an irresistible combination. Because the Bible was very vague when it came to kneecaps. Uh, uh, fuzzy, as a fuzzy. Matter of fact. <laughs> right, <laughs> exactly. Well, you had the opportunity to work with a number of great actors along the way. You mentioned kind of the closeness to the cast, but what was the experience like to not only work with Nathan, Adam, Jewel, and Sean, and everybody, but also Joss Whedon? Well, everything started and ended with Joss. You know, because he's the pulse of the of the yeah. whole thing. You know, I mean, he's the heartbeat, and so. Um, Danny Arnold was the, the producer, creator, writer, and so forth of, of Barney. And uh, Joss, is, Joss is, he's right there. He's right there, which, I mean, you can't get higher marks than that from me. So, you know, it was really, really, really my, my great pleasure to be able to work with him. And I actually, and I miss him too. I would love to have some more of that experience. Very hands-on, actor-friendly kind of guy. Yeah, maybe next time you won't kill me. I know. <laughs> well, that was my next. That's one of my questions for you. Actually, was was uh, what your reaction was when you first looked at that script for Serenity and saw what happens to Shepard. I wasn't going to do it. Really? Yeah, wasn't going to do it. But then, uh, Joss, you know, we had some conversations and uh, had another uh, conversation with uh, with Nathan, and uh, after some more deliberation and so forth, I decided to go ahead and do it, and I'm glad I did. Well, it's one of the reasons why it's tough for me to watch Serenity. I love the movie, but that's a tough part to watch because I love Shepard so much. So it's a tough part for me to watch. 
Are you surprised at the number of passionate fans that are just still come in droves and mobs and are just as passionate about both Serenity and Firefly today? I mean, they keep the show alive, basically. Yeah, it's fascinating. I mean, I, you know, I was a little um, cautious about coming to this particular convention because mm -hmm. I thought, wow, you know, I mean, it's been 10 years and um, I haven't done one in probably a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And I thought, what if nobody shows up? <laughs> so much for that idea. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really, uh, I'm really gratified by the whole experience, and and the fan base is just just phenomenal. Not only are they bright and um, insightful and all that, but they're also loyal, yep. which is a really all those things are really 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 winsome. Very true. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, oftentimes, when you're in a show like this, playing a member of a crew, each cast member has an episode or two that lets their particular character in the crew really shine, and it allows them to showcase that particular character in a memorable way. Uh, do you have a favorite episode that you think that really showed the most, you know, or something really interesting about Shepard, other than the time where he got to kick ass for the first time? Actually, it's interesting that you say that because. Kicking ass was also one of the things in the pilot, mm. which is also kind of drew me to it. Yeah. So um, I think it was important to be able to act actualize that side of his repertoire. Made him more mysterious. There it was also, something else about his past we didn't know early it, on. It also made him more human, mm. you know, because nobody's all this or That's all right. that, you know. So to be able to actually show both of those things was really, really, really rewarding. We have a number of people who listen to the show that are part of that passionate group of fans. Is there anything you'd like to say to them since they'll be listening? Yeah, hold tight. I hope to get something else that's uh, also really, really engaging for all you guys. I'm looking forward to that. You bet. My last question for you, sir, is what have you been working on lately and what can fans see you in in the coming months? Uh, there's nothing um, in the last year and a half that's new that I actually have out there. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, it's just a phone call away. So, you know, hold tight. Be patient. We'll get there. Keep your eyes open. Thank you very much. In the meantime, go out and buy Barney Miller and all the other shows, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, just, uh, just stay loyal. Just stay loyal. All right. Well, Mr. Glass, it's a pleasure to talk to you, sir. Thank you for taking the time to be on The Critic Show. Thank you very much. Hi everybody, it's Ron Glass. I've played characters like Detective Ron Harris and Barney Miller as well as Shepard Daryl Book and Firefly. You're listening to The Critic Show with Scott Murray. There's no place I can be Since I found serenity But you can't take the sky from me